Hey Jaybirds, it's me, the Jaybin here, and welcome to my show on the couch with the Jaybin, and I've got some snacks to try out for you. So, let's go! So the first snack I'm gonna try out for you guys is this. Banana chips, and they are from the company OK, and I got this at Seafood City. And just to let you know, this company um, is all natural, and they have no preservatives, and there are no artificial additives, which is good. So, let's try these out. Got my trusty scissors. And this is what they look like. They're a little dry than the other ones that I've tried before. Um, maybe if I could get those and then we can compare, but this is the only one that I got. So, it, it looks more dry than the ones that I've eaten before where they were kind of shinier because of the sugar so this has no sugar and so they look more like pop chips to me let's go try them mm. this is really good And I think it's because these chips were fried and not sun dried. They were vacuum fried. Okay, that's why. But I like them. So the next snacks I'm gonna try out for you guys are these three Pocky Sticks. Um, this is an old time favorite of mine and now they've added new flavors and they're trying out so many different flavors. I only chose these three. Um, because I thought that these three would be really good to try out. There were other flavors there, but I didn't want to try all of them. So these were the three that I picked out. And maybe on another time, we will try the other flavors too. So Pocky is an old time snack for me, and it's one of my favorites since I was a kid. They had chocolate, they had strawberry, but that was it. And now that they came out with these new flavors, I think it's time to try something new. So, um, I'm gonna try the coconut one first. I think saving the mint one last would be just perfect. So, first off, I love the way they package their new Pocky. Um, it's very interesting and it's eye-catching. Um, and this is from Japan and you can get this also in China and I think maybe Korea, I don't know. But let's go open up. So all you have to do is just open up the front like this and bring it back see how easy it is and now they come in in these little packets so you can tr um, travel with these now so if you buy a box you can bring them to the airport now or just leave them in the box it's really up to you so just open this up Okay, so this is what it looks like. It has milk chocolate on it and it has like little flakes of coconut because this is a coconut flavor. So let's eat. Mmm. Okay. That's interesting. That's really good. Um, wow. I love the flavor of the milk chocolate. I love how the coconut flavor is there, but it doesn't stick out like most coconut flavored snacks, but you can still taste it. And it's not very distinct. And so the balance between the coconut and the chocolate is really well. And it's not that sweet either, so that's good. <laughs> okay, so this next one we're going to try is the matcha chocolate um, Pocky. And this one has, I think this is green tea, but I'm not sure. So once we try this, we'll see what it tastes like. Because at Seafood, there were two of these. They were both the same color, but different packaging. Um, and one was green tea. So what is matcha anyway? Um, I really don't know what that is. 
and this is all in like Japanese <laughs> writing so if you're Japanese and you know what matcha is can you please leave it in the comment section below and let me know what it is because I'm really excited I've never tried this before so I don't think it's green tea at all but it looks like it would be but it says matcha chocolate so let's try it out Okay, so just like the other ones, um, they come into their own little packet like this, but this one's a lot thinner than the other one, so that's different. Let's just open it from the top and grab one. So here it is. It has a very green tea color, and so that's why I was thinking it was green tea, but it's called matcha, and so I don't know what that is, so it's just... Try it. Here we go. Mmm. Okay. Here's what I'm getting from this. It tastes like green tea ice cream, and I'm, that's what I was guessing. And so, I love it actually. Um. The taste isn't strong. It's a little sweeter than the coconut one, but it's not that bad. So I like it. Um, I think this is one that I would definitely eat and put in my bag to snack on. Um, yeah. So that was really good. It really reminds me of green tea ice cream. You know, when you go to like here in San Diego, when you go to like any sushi bar. Um, and they always have green tea, green tea ice cream, and so, yeah, that's what it tastes like. Hmm. I would recommend this one. If you ever go to Seafood City and you see Pocky, try their different flavors. It, they're all good. <laughs> so far, these two were good. The, um, the coconut and the matcha chocolate. So, yeah, matcha chocolate. Try it out. Really good. So, the last one we're going to try today is the make chocolate mint um pocky and this one looks the cutest of all of them it's my favorite color teal or light turquoise however you want to call it um and it has white polka dots on it so it's really cute um so let's open this up and try it i'm really excited so very easy to open and the packaging on this one is the same as the other one, but look at how it looks. It's so cute. It has like um, a little graphic of mint here on the front and it just looks adorable. I love it and how like it matches with this, but it's like all white and it's reversed. But this time the polka dots are clear, so you get to see it a little bit. So here we go, let's open it up and try it. dropped one it's okay so this is what it looks like it looks like your regular chocolate um pocky but the flavor is a little different mmm it's really good yeah okay good I did this one last because of the mint flavor okay so here are my thoughts on this one I love it it's really good it tastes like mint it tastes like chocolate all together it's it's it just tastes like anything where you have like your little mint chocolates around or chocolate chip mint ice cream it tastes like that but on a stick and not cold <laughs> or a piece of candy this is on a breadstick, and so I like it. It's really good. But out of the three that I like the most, I would have to say the matcha chocolate would be my first. The chocolate mint one would be second. And the third one would be coconut. Um, 
I really love coconut. And it's really hard to decide which is really the best, but I think I like this the most. And these two go well hand in hand together. Um, but overall, these three are really great flavors. Um, so there's really nothing else to say about them, but um, the reason why I chose this is because it's the most different. Um, these I like what you would taste all the time, um, but with matcha chocolate, this is definitely something surprising and different. It does remind me of green tea ice cream a lot, but I don't know, because this is just something different and you don't see this every day. Where this, you always see it every day. Um, yeah, so if you ever find yourself going to an Asian store, um, try to pick these out. They're really good. I highly recommend them. Very good. All right, Jaybirds, well, that's all that I have for you guys for today. And if you want to get any snacks, go to your local Asian food store. And if not, you can always order them online. And if you like videos like this where I try out new kinds of snacks or foods, um, please let me know and like this video because that would help me out a lot. Don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe to my channel because that would be great. And you can follow me on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. And if you have any requests for any of my three shows here on my channel, leave them in the comment section right down below. Or you can tweet me at the Jabin and also Facebook me at facebook.com slash the Jabin official. So Jaybirds, that's all that I have for you guys. And what time is it? It's time to fly away. It's time to fly away. I'll see you guys next time. God bless. And remember, love God, love people. Bye.